The next thing I'm going to do is show you how to put the cart on your dog, how to attach it. And I would recommend putting the front harness attachment into the cart first. What you'll do is you'll put the cart over the dog like this and you'll put this front bar into the loop while clipping it in. Here the snap, nice and secure. Okay, I just showed you how I put the front harness attached into the cart. Now I'm going to show you how to attach the rear harness into the cart. And, and at this point your dog just might be sitting because he doesn't have much strength in his back legs. So what you can do is pull him up by using this strap in the back that's clipped onto him. And you're going to take the clip in the back over the cart, over the railing, and put it in and push it up and then it's nice and snug. And the same thing with the one in the back, push it up. And then there's two other clips that's going to go over the blue railing and push up. Now when your dog's fitted in the wheelchair, the back legs should be touching the floor or the ground and can use those back legs to develop muscle back into um, the dog's body. If the legs are paralyzed, you'll simply want to put the back legs in the stirrups to hold them off the ground a couple inches so they're not dragging on the ground. And this way your dog will be using the front legs to move along. So this is the way um, for a properly fit dog into the walking wheels chair.